Stripe billing is the fastest way for your business to bill customers with subscriptions and accept recurring payments globally. In this series, you'll learn the fundamentals for setting up an integration to accept recurring payments. We'll cover things like starting subscriptions, customer onboarding, collecting payments, managing the customer lifecycle, and also offering ways to cancel and move between plans. This series won't go into the more advanced details like metered usage-based or tiered subscriptions, but you'll walk away with the basic building blocks and an understanding that you can build on and apply. So as a frame of reference, let's walk through a simple web application that implements subscription billing already. When the customer first visits your site, they're typically greeted with some landing page. This is gonna be the place where we might ask the customer to sign up, register, or join. Some sites will make a call to action like start today, you know, begin your free trial, start with 14 days free, and we'll come back to that integration flow later in a, in a different episode. When a customer signs up for your service, you might collect things like birth date, shipping address, or other product preferences in order to onboard the customer to your business. Now, this is the pricing page and it displays the products and prices you offer. In the next episode in the series, we'll talk about how to model your business with products and prices so that you can take advantage of all the best checkout and customer portal features. The payment form collects a name and payment information. Stripe hosts this form if you use checkout or payment links. And it's one of the key features that allows you to collect payments and remain PCI compliant. Now there's several options that vary in integration complexity from no code all the way up to a full custom payment form. And we're gonna cover those shortly. Access provisioning is when you'll grant access to these products and features that a customer just paid for. This happens behind the scenes using a webhook. If you're not familiar with webhooks, don't worry. We have several episodes that cover webhooks in depth. So let's get into the core resources you'll need to understand getting started with the customer object. So a customer object allows you to collect recurring payments for the same customer. It's gonna allow us to track those multiple charges over time. Now your customer's payment instruments are how they pay for the service. So this is their card details or maybe their bank account details. There's several payment method types that Stripe offers. All of them support one-time payments, but some of them also support recurring payments. It is a subset, so you'll wanna check and see which payment method types are supported. Products are what your business offers, whether that's a good or a service. Products are gonna include the name and maybe some features. They might also have an image. And you'll note that if we have this basic product, it might have fewer features than a pro product. These are separate products, but they're often represented on the page as sort of different tiers or different pricing levels that you might purchase or different pricing levels that you might subscribe to. Each of these products is gonna have one or many prices. Prices represent how much and how often to charge for products. It also includes how much the product costs, how frequently or what the interval is for the price if it's a subscription and also which currency to use. Subscriptions are the product details associated with the plan that your customer subscribes to. That allows you to charge the customer on a recurring basis. So this subscription is gonna be related to the customer, their payment method, and then a specific price for a given product. So an invoice is a statement of amounts owed by a customer. Subscriptions are gonna automatically generate these invoices for you. You can sort of think of a subscription object as an engine that generates invoices. Depending on the recurring interval of the price related to the subscription for a customer, that's how frequently an invoice will automatically be generated. For instance, if you were on a monthly price, you might have a new invoice every single month for a specific subscription. There's several ways to start subscriptions. Today, you can start a subscription with no code at all using a Stripe payment link, or you can use Stripe checkout, or you can directly use the API to create customers and subscriptions, and then use the payment element to collect payment details. Stay tuned in the next few episodes, and you're gonna learn how to model your business to onboard customers, build pricing pages, and start to manage subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.